Westham and on it goes to Widdup. Let's see what happens. He Not turns, two. comes Go back on. across the field, then three. finds the pass. Go three. Lawler trying to Lawler trying to go on his own and does so and he does so George Lawler we said he was versatile we said he could bring something to this cast side and he's brought the first try of the game well that is a turn up for the books you probably would not have put George Lawley down as the first try. He would. No, but they've done the defence. They've repelled the home side under some pressure. It was a magnificent kick from Gareth Widdup. Gave his side the field position. And even though it wasn't perfect, look at the run here from Nathan Massey. And Oliver Wilson only has eyes for the big man. Just forgets what he's doing. And if we're being honest... Those two players should have done better. Nathan Peets and Theo Farge, probably a bigger, stronger man, but you've got to make your tackles, especially that close to the line. So it's at prop, he's been at loose forward, he's been on the bench, and now he's starting tonight in that hooking role, and he's got the first try of the game, and Gareth Widdop has converted and the Castleford Tigers, the side coming here, seeking their first win of the season. Lead by six points to nil. During his Huddersfield career, hasn't he? Pete's. Here is Price now. Price changes direction, and the direction was towards the posts. And Castleford just got to him in the nick of time. Nathan Pete's. McQueen's try! And the Giants respond pretty, pretty rapidly. And McQueen invited, really, to go through a big gap in the the uh, Castleford Tigers defence and McQueen needed no second invitation, he got 17 tries last year, Chris McQueen the Giants top try scorer and he's off the mark this season and Oliver Russell with this conversion to level the scores makes no mistakes 6 points apiece with the way that George Lawler just strolled, just meandered his way over that try line. But it's about reset, nudge those two points and let's start again. Russell from distance, but it's not a problem for him. And having been 6-0 down early on here, Huddersfield Giants edge their way into an 8 points to 6 lead. So head and feed to Huddersfield Giants, 10 metres away from the Castleford Tigers line. They lead by eight points to six, and it's with Price. And Price, immediately from the scrum, makes an impact. And it was so simple for Will Price. Started off on the bench, Farge's injury meant Price came on early in the proceedings. And he's made his mark with his first of the season. And Casava Tigers paying a, a heavy price for not dealing with the kick, really, it comes down to. But it was a, a kick that put them under pressure. It's a lovely set play, isn't it? And that balance and footwork that Will Price is blessed with. They just can't handle it, the Casava Tigers defenders. They're up quick, trying to shut them down. And Kenny Edwards, if anything, is chasing too hard loses his hips and you can see his face in the sideline there can't deal with the footwork and agility of will price but it was a, a wonderful kick from his halfback partner ollie russell and russell composes himself the crowd settles down and half time approaching he extends the huddersfield giants lead 14 points to six Daniel Smith gets a hold of a leg. Short pass to Yates, and Yates is almost over. He's held just short. Crowd thought he was over. Quick play, the ball finds Price. Price stabs a little kick in. Lovely try for Bibby. Lovely try. And I'm now not going to put the mockers on him this time. Are you going to back him or not? I am no comment. Stick or twist? No comment. Go on, Bill. I'm going to say he'll get it. Oh. Easy. Left pegger, right side. Simples. Just before half-time, 
and confirming that and giving Huddersfield Giants a 20 points to 6 lead can they withstand this latest assault McQueen looking for a second and getting it Chris McQueen made that look so easy but he sold the dummy the Tigers defence brought it and Chris McQueen in his fourth giant season it's his second try of the night and Huddersfield they, they look very slick this is what Ian Watson wanted and they're turning it on tonight they're just tightening up the pressure aren't they whenever those mistakes come it was a forced offload from Mahe Fanua, a knock on from Adam Milner and as soon as they got that ball the breaking tackles they're not able to be dominated in that play of the ball. Coaches talk about rook speed all the time. This is nice, slick hands, good recognition from McQueen, who has spent some time in the three quarters. So he's done that. The muscle memory he has for that situation meant that he delivered it, he executed it, and it's four, potentially six points for the Giants. Last. Hey! Liam Watts. Release it now! Widdup, Milner. But they don't get into ground again. Pete, the ball over the top to Russell, Russell on to the veteran Cucho, Cucho stabs a lovely kick in, oh, oh, what a try, Tui Lollahea, what a kick that was, Lollahea on the end of it, Cucho and Lollahea celebrate, Leroy Cucho, his 340th Giants appearance, but what a delicate touch that was and what superb hands from Tui Lollahea we saw them at the other end of the field where he scooped that kick up and then there he was again just making it look so easy you called it there Barry it's the not putting the place to ground and Mars just does so well there to stand up get a quick play Nathan Peach jumps out there from the dummy half position takes players with him finds a pass and Russell does really well there to engage into his winger. Kudjo there, seasoned professional, puts a brilliant little kick in. And who else but Lola here to jump on that one? You said he was having a quiet game there, Baz. I'm not too sure he is now. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic team try there from Huddersfield. Lots of hands and lots of players involved with that one. Yeah, Bill, completely agree with you. I think, especially this sort of second half, second half of the first half, and then so far in. The first 15 minutes of, of this second half, we've seen really impressive play, play from Huddersfield. Everybody getting involved and getting hands on the ball, just real intent and intensity going forward. Russell thought about it, gets it away to Yates. But even Yates. the offload there, Bill, you've got your hands to a, to a half back. You've got to complete that tackle. Don't allow him to offload it. Russell, Tui Lola, hey, a quick hands from Eason Masters. Here's Kutcho, Kutcho bounces off, bounces over. And Leroy Kutcho, who set up a try for Eason Masters. Well, Masters returns the favour there. The pass from the new recruit, the Cook Island International. And Leroy Kutcho, second only to Earl Crabtree on the Giants Super League appearance list, gets his first try of the season. Well, Leroy just brushes the defender aside. Again, Russell right at the heart of it. A nice line by Josh Jones, creates the space. And I I'm going to be kind here to cast Tigers. That's a tired defence. If I was being unkind, it's woeful defending there. And the fullback gets his body in front, but he's swatted off like a fly. It's in front of the one. sticks, though. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm back You didn't him. open your mouth when they were on the sideline. <laughs> I'd let you make that one. <laughs> Russell, the final kick of the game. It's to add two more points to uh, Huddersfield Giants tally.